suppose there is a patient who developed acute pancreatitis uh, you can say six weeks back and now the patient is developing abdominal pain after meals and we have got a CT done this is the CT image this is the CT image now what is the diagnosis the diagnosis in this case is pseudocyst of pancreas okay you can simply say it as a pseudocyst okay now, this is a pseudocyst why this is a pseudocyst because there is no necrosum or no dead material inside it there is fluid inside and is lined by a wall okay now most common cystic lesion of pancreas is pseudocyst okay and why it is called a pseudocyst because there is no well defined wall it is lined by a granulation tissue lined by a wall this is a no well defined wall oh sorry it is a well defined wall but there is no epithelium here no epithelium and is lined by granulation tissue now there are some other points it is the most common cystic lesion of the pancreas is one point most common cause is alcohol most common site is lesser sac okay now there is a difference when the pseudocyst is forming in acute pancreatitis and in chronic pancreatitis okay so in acute pancreatitis pseudocyst forms in 10% patients so the incidence is 10% but the cyst which is forming is single large okay cyst which is forming is single large and extra pancreatic as in this case you can see the cyst is outside the pancreas large cyst and a single cyst generally this kind of picture is there in acute pancreatitis in chronic pancreatitis pseudocyst forms in 20% of patients but the cysts are small multiple and intra pancreatic okay so this is regarding pseudocyst now what all are the clinical features generally the patient is asymptomatic and on routine evaluation we are seeing a pseudocyst okay patient had history of pancreatitis but now the evaluation was done due to some other reason and there is pseudocyst in case if the patient is symptomatic most common symptom is abdominal pain sometimes what happens is the cyst is in lesser sac it grows so bigger that it compresses the uh, duodenum and leads to features of gastric outlet obstruction sometimes there is gastric outlet obstruction which leads to non bilious vomiting and the vomiting will contain will consist of undigested food particles now what all are the complications that can occur the compli most common complication is infection of the pseudocyst infection and followed by hemorrhage infection is seen in 14% and hemorrhage is seen in 10% okay so they in, in case if there is hemorrhage then there will be sudden rise in the size of the cyst and increase in the size of the cyst with severe pain then we might think in terms of hemorrhage and in case if there is fever with chills and rigors then we can think in terms of infection okay now this is the regarding the complication the investigation of choice is cct abdomen we have seen how the pseudocyst looks in the ct and uh, what is the management the management in majority of the patients is conservative because gradually the cyst resolves on its own okay majority of the cyst resolves on its own so the management is conservative and there are some indications for surgery that is rule of 6 okay important if the size of cyst is more than 6 cm if the duration 
is more than six weeks, then we can go ahead with surgery. If the patient is symptomatic, then we can go ahead with surgery. Okay, surgery most commonly performed surgeries are cystogastrostomy and cystojejunostomy. Okay, and cystoduodenostomy is more generally not performed. Cystojejunostomy here is the treatment of choice. Cystogastrostomy, I will first explain. Suppose this is stomach, this is pancreas, here there is a lesser sac and there is a large cyst here. If the cyst is abutting the posterior wall of stomach, then we can go ahead with the cystogastrostomy. Otherwise, if the cyst is there in the uh, transverse mesocolon, some other place in the abdomen or not abutting to the stomach, then we will not be able to do cystogastrostomy. Okay, the advantage with cystogastrostomy is it is simple and easy procedure or quicker procedure. Okay, the problems is normally the patient is lying down. You see that stomach is anterior, cyst is posteriorly. Okay, so the drainage is anti gravity. Okay, cyst is draining into the stomach, so the drainage is anti gravity. So, anti gravity drainage, and sometimes, in case if the food is going into the cyst, then this can lead to a sub syndrome and there will be infection in the cyst due to this uh, retained food material and there will be bacterial overgrowth. Okay, so sub syndrome. Occurs bacterial overgrowth if food going in the cyst, if food is going in the cyst. Okay, this is regarding cystogastrostomy. Now, regarding cystogastrostomy, what happens is how we are doing a cystogastrostomy. Uh, suppose if this is a cyst here in the transverse mesocolon, for example. Now, doing a cystogastrostomy is not possible. Now, this is a DJ flexure. And we divide the, suppose this is a DJ flexure here. And then there is jejunum. What we do here is we divide the jejunum here. We bring this jejunum here. Some picture like this will be there. Then we attach this jejunum here along with the cyst, and then we reattach the jejunum together to establish the enteric continuity. Okay, so now what is happening here that whatever food we are taking is going from stomach to the duodenum. Through the DJ flexure, it is going food. For example, if I will mark it as yellow, for example, food is from the stomach is coming here, from the DJ flexure is going here. So there is no reflux of the food material into the cyst. And on the other hand, if you will see, whole of the necrotic or the uh, fluid will be draining through the jejunum inside. Okay, and there will be no reflux. So that is why it is the gold standard or the treatment of choice. And this is how we are making a rule limb. This rule limb is being attached to the jejunum. We are deliberately making this rule limb at least 40 to 50 centimeters so that there is no reflux of food material inside the cyst. Okay, so advantages are drainage is according to gravity and there is no sump syndrome. The problem is that the duration is increasing. Disadvantage is increased duration and increased blood loss.
बट ओवरऑल द मोस्ट प्रॉफर्ड प्रेफर्ड प्रोसीजर इज रू एंड बाय सिस्टोजेजनोस्मी वाई वी आर नॉट डायरेक्टली अटैचिंग द जेजनम इन टू द सिस्ट बिकॉज देन देर विल बी प्रॉब्लम दैट बाइल विल गो इन साइड द सिस्ट and again there will be some problems related to some syndrome or bacterial overgrowth that is why rue and vice estrogenosmi is the preferred procedure